days. So we are going shopping together today. So it is about a week and a half before Christmas and I thought that it would be fun for us to go in stores and see what outfits that we can put together that's really last minute. If you guys have been following along with my like shorter content journey, I've been talking about doing like a taking back my in-store shopping experience. And a lot of that was like inner child healing, if that's your vibe, um, of just really going in and kind of helping my younger self and like my current self know that even when I'm shopping in stores and maybe it doesn't fit, that it really doesn't fully have anything to do with me, that there's like more than one experience there. But I know for a lot of us, and as like I've kind of chatted with some of you guys in the comments, that one of the things that we all would really like to be able to do is to find places that really kind of accommodate where we're at in our current bodies and our current journeys. And I think it's really important that we also feel confident enough and know where if we need something last minute that we can get it in stores because for the most part, we're all shopping online. But like sometimes you need it in stores and shipping isn't as reliable as we want it to be. So that is what we're gonna do today. Now keep in mind, I kind of live in a small town. I live in Florida in the Panhandle. So we're gonna go to Dustin today, but I'm hoping that for this particular occasion, like that works that if you're maybe in like not necessarily the biggest city, you'll have a little bit of inspiration and if we like this and we want to see a new year's eve version let me know in the comments below asap because i can plan for that but i can also make it the atlanta version but for today we're gonna go see what we can find we're gonna go to a couple of different stores see what kind of sparks our fancy and fits for the pear-shaped hourglass girlies that are shopping and hopefully we can find you a really fun last minute festival no. guys i tried so hard not to snag these calzadonia tights and the first pair I put on, I ripped. And the second ones, they have little holes in them already. This might be a two-day shopping event because I just popped a story on Instagram and asked you guys where you wanted me to go. And one of the suggestions was to do Burlington Coat Factory, Kohl's, and all of those other stores. And I actually would like to check out the ones that are closer to me. So this will be all in one vlog for you. But we're going to expand our search. I need to go to Abercrombie and return some of my Black Friday stuff. So we're going to start there. And then I have a few stores in mind but we're gonna go to Belk, at least. This has pretty people, but I don't know that this is pretty people stuff. This top is really cute. like two stars before I was wiped today. I only got like six hours of sleep, which is not a lot for my body. So we're gonna go back again and do some more tomorrow. I feel like the thing that I noticed the most in Belk, but even consistently like across the board, is the sizing was just such a wild experience. Some of the dresses that I tried on in Belk, either like not having Spanx is one thing. I couldn't figure out if maybe it was like, I was wearing the wrong bra and that was the situation. I've talked about it before on the channel, but like, when you're a pear-shaped girly, the way that tops fit you is just a bit different. So I could have sized down in some things, but a lot of times things end up being a little too wide and that's why I tend to wear everything a little bit more in the center and towards the collar because otherwise it just, your shoulders aren't as wide as they need to be. Hi bub, and things just kind of fall off. So Belk was interesting and in that like I could potentially emergency find pieces in there if I really needed to. But it wasn't like the best of the best options, although I really like the pants. I will say I uploaded, and I'm kind of breaking this up a little bit and uploading it as short content. I know you guys don't all like go on all the social media, so we have the long version here. But one of the things that I noticed when I went to actually upload stuff for links is that some of the stuff is actually only available in stores, which is very nice to know in that sense that like not all the options that we're seeing online are the only options that are available. But again, with sizing, it was just so... I say weird it's normal but it was also just kind of a very entertaining experience like i grabbed the extra large dress and express because of course in stores like that you tend to not know if it's gonna run small or you're not like not sure how it's exactly gonna fit 
and so the dress was like just falling down like i was holding it up the entire time i was filming it it was really cute and i probably could have asked maybe to get another size but the attendants weren't very helpful slash aware like the, i got greeted when i came in but nobody like spoke to me to give me a checking room or fitting room um i sized down on the top and the top was fun the pants were traditional fit of the sense that like they were a little bit gappy in the back but i really like them and i said it in my short video earlier but like I have heart so much on wide leg pants or at least the flared legs and how it just looks like a lot of fabric pools at the bottom and this might have been the exception for that. I think the one thing you don't get sometimes with those especially even in like the pants that are supposed to be curvy is you really want it to kind of snatch the waist and to leave room for the hips and sometimes it doesn't snatch the waist enough. I don't know if that's like a consistent curvy fit issue or what the situation may be there. I am going to introduce more tailoring into my clothing and stuff in the like new year so we can have a better conversation about maybe the sizes that we should be buying and how we can tailor it and just anything and everything that really elevates our ability to fit close to our body the best. All the pups have like a moment on the floor, but so far we're two stores down. So I'm going to do H and tomorrow. I wasn't gonna go into Forever 21 but I did see some stuff in the window and like I don't necessarily love a fast fashion moment and that is what I feel like makes this series a little bit harder because I don't really want that to be like the ideal of what we're doing but at the same time like it is a last minute outfit kind of situation so we're gonna learn to balance it let me know in the comments below what you guys think about that because obviously like shopping for me I really should be very intentional with where I'm buying from and like the clothing that I'm sharing and where I'm promoting and all of that but when we're doing something like this and it's like last minute i don't expect that you're like buying a ton of things i expect that you're buying something because you need it and hopefully that you're buying something that you're going to use later but also that you're buying something because it is kind of fitting a need in that last minute category so there are a few places that i won't get to and or maybe won't do because i've already shown like little bits of those outfits and other stuff that i've created so like i got the red top from victoria's secret in my black friday purchase and i really like that and i know that they have that in store so would recommend that the leather squirt from abercrombie is one of those things like i wore the blue squirt today you guys saw um the other thing hi bubba is j crew but i just did like a mini vlog on that and their stuff is a little bit hit or miss but if you guys want to know what those specific pieces might be again let me know in the comments below and i can like pop something in the community section or find a way to like give you just like that smidgen of info but i am eating dinner i am like at the point in the day where my period is on a different cycle we're doing some stuff on the wellness side of life and making some changes but i'm really quite tired even though i've had an obscene amount of coffee today but asher is losing his ever-loving mind because i have soup and i am not sharing it with him so round two is coming tomorrow but hopefully i'm gonna go to bed very early this evening we're having one of those days that just requires you to walk in faith with what's happening which means i'm procrastinating because feeling all the things and feeling a little bit scared means you kind of like hold back in but I need to take some action and kind of get into the routines we're gonna do some skincare even though it's a really rainy day and it's like the perfect day to sit and indulge in the period cramps and not move hopefully that's not what happens after I film but if nothing else I will have done my skincare at this point I have tried to utilize other like cleanses but I feel like I go back to the Tata Harper clarifying cleanser over and over and over again and this might be something that i like look into this year and like seeing if there's a complete overhaul of my skincare routine because there are little minor tweaks that i would like to make but this is just the best one for somebody who has drier skin that's a little bit more not necessarily acne prone but because i have like hormonal acne i find that like this is the best combo but when i leave the very humid state that I am in, I have to be really mindful about making sure that I am elevating the amount of hydration that I'm adding to my routine. So we're gonna skip the BHAs because I did this Allies of Skin purifying mask last night. Not one for a lot of clay masks. I feel like the only time I really utilize them is specifically if I've got a very random, like very big stick kind of acne situation. So I can't really speak to that, but I will say that I'm obsessed with the molecular molecular savior probiotics treatment mist. This has been the like indulgent skincare product I think about when it comes to this time of the year. Cause I feel like it's just got that extra bit of elevation for your like hydration side. <coughs> Why am I so out of breath? And then it's got silver glutathione, mega and SI Astra 
extract probiotics and there's so many words on here that I don't know how to pronounce but this has been really great it is definitely an indulgent product but I do have a discount code for allies of skin I will leave the description box below because I use quite a few of their products at this point but I actually had a purpose in turning on the camera this morning to share skincare with you because I've recently got some this new product that in the grand scheme of new products I'm always curious about products that feel like they are attempting to fix a problem in the like system of how this particular thing is made so specifically vitamin c so this is from exponent also have a discount code from them um all the discount codes will be linked in the description box below but one of the things that you can find more common with vitamin c is that they oxidize a bit more so if you're somebody who likes to try a lot of products or it's not packaged really well or you just find that like suddenly the change there's like a different color of what you originally bought i try to be really mindful specifically with vitamin c in my serum that like if I open one, I use it all the way through. And I do find that like certain products just really work a lot better. This is the one product in my routine I have to be the fussiest about because it's the one product I tend to find that if I introduce this particular product in, in the vitamin C category in general, it's the one that's most likely to make all of my other products kind of pill once we get to the point where I'm doing my makeup. This hasn't happened with this, but I also really like that you have the full seal because it's a powder and then there's a hyaluronic acid in here. So it goes on top and there's like a separate little serum -y guy down here that you can kind of see. Okay, let's try this again. So you pop it on top and then you click. I think I actually might have done more than I need to. No, I think we're good. And it kind of gives you the powder in here so you can hopefully so you can see the powder's in there and then it, they give you this little spatula to like mix it all together so what happens is you can push up just the hyaluronic acid if like maybe you didn't want to add the vitamin c or you were doing something else they have a couple of different options that you can get for the powder to go with it but what i really like about it is it just keeps everything really airtight and you're only getting just like the right amount and it's actually a good amount of product I really like to be mindful, especially because I'm in my 30s now, that we're like taking the skincare down the neck, that we're taking it to the chest, that we're getting all the product in the places that we really need the product so that we're aging the best. And that especially with like vitamin C when you're over 30, because it really helps with the collagen production that you're not really doing as much of, helps with skin cell turnover and to kind of fill in those gaps. I don't think I turn this enough, um, but... It gives you kind of everything you need and it goes down the neck. I'm really struggling with everything on the layers right now. But they also come with a spatula, which is really great because I'm not getting anything out of there with claws on my fingers. And then you just seal this back. It's airtight. You clean this out and you're good to go. And then last product before I go to SPF is another one from Allies of Skin is the Peptide Oxidants Firming Daily Treatment. I swore that when I got this one, it was one of those, like, I'm just going to try it. Like I've had loved Allies of Skin for a really long time. I was interested in their products, but they were kind of at the like indulgent side of what would have been my skincare routine budget. And I ran out of the moisturizer I had at the time and we have very limited options where I live. So I was just kind of like, eh, you know, whatever. Very shocked to see this in stores. Very shocked to find that it was in Dillard's and their skincare section. There's always like a good little bit left at the top. You kind of have to push out. So anyways, I decided to try it. And what happened was I kept getting compliments on my skin. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I kind of didn't want to love this. I kind of wanted it to just be a product that I could like try it occasionally and like just be so glad that I tried it and it would be all right and then move on because I was like am I gonna feel it is it gonna feel really different and am I gonna like notice a difference in like the actual moisture of my skin but I noticed the difference in just like the overall tone of it I will say I thought that I could use a little bit less of vitamin C I'm noticing that that like needs to be in my routine but it really helps with the glow of things as you can see I do need to shave a little bit so we're gonna do that and then if I was doing a little bit of wash out a day I might add in like a really basic oil but the other reason that I have a discount code for allies of skin is so that when I need to buy all these products I know that we're getting 20% off so originally the plan was for me to do Burlington Coat Factory and Kohl's today and then I was also gonna do Target I just picked up something that must have like melted in the car over the summer um I was gonna do Burlington Coat Factory. We were gonna do Kohl's and then Target was on my list. And I actually thought that I would just do Target today, but I'm thinking I'm gonna do the other two and maybe save Target for 
tomorrow because I want to give you guys options for places that like are very easily accessible as much as possible. I'm also in kind of the town for that. And then I still plan on going back like Monday and this will probably be next week's vlog. Um, they'll go before Christmas because there's no point in giving you less than outfits if it's not live. Um, but to do places that like we didn't get to the other day just because I didn't get myself up early enough and prepared to do the long day of it. I definitely still struggle with like the longevity of going shopping because that was not something I think that I ever really built when I was younger mostly because that wasn't the experience that I got to have of like having a pleasant experience shopping in stores with my body type but I think we're gonna go with the OG plans today I'm gonna do Kohl's go through Burlington Coat Factory and that way I can get that like short up for you guys and then I need to pick up stuff from Target and then maybe because I know Target will be open in the morning we can do that but this vlog will be live before then and or I will add that snippet in before I go do decorating tomorrow for Christmas stuff and then I'll start like the next vlog. I really did not have today's sleeper hit on my bingo card. Where to find a last minute holiday outfit in stores as a mid-sized woman. Welcome to episode two. You missed episode one we dug through the racks at Express and Belk and now I am on to Kohl's and Burlington Coat Factory. This is like the perfect mirror for the outfit of the day but doing an Abercrombie top, Abercrombie pants, banana republic slides and then my little Bottega dupe and we've got our first pile i did not know that draper james was sold at Coles, but it's like the draper james line which is still exciting and the most promising of what i've seen so far for more than a few pieces that had potential but the sizing options just weren't available okay let's debrief before we go to stop number two i feel like i could really lean into the fact that it feels like i should apologize for my taste that's kind of not the point of this channel and not the point of the space and I'm somebody who has rather expensive taste. Some of that is just coming from parents who didn't have a lot when they were younger and they really elevated their tastes intentionally as they got older. So that was what I grew into is, you know, the things that they decided that they really wanted to have as a part of their life. And I've never really shopped at Kohl's. A lot of the places we're featuring aren't places that I necessarily would shop all of the time. But in saying that, I feel like there's potential and opportunity in almost every store you go into. The thing for me with this is I tried on the stuff from Draper James. I looked at some of the Lauren Conrad stuff. And I don't know if it's just that there's a bit more fluidity in actually how all of the designs are built. Because it really allows for a more custom, like, open option. Like, I was really surprised that the size 14 pants fit me the way that they did. Because traditionally something like that wouldn't fit me. Or something like that would probably be like my like my experience in Express the other day where it's, you know, kind of fitting in some places but kind of tight in other places and I knew if I would like go up I would have to tailor them. So they were a lot more of a loose fit. I think you could make things look really excellent by buying pieces and really tailoring them from there. But like the blazer, I should have gotten a size down. It's large. The 14 were the largest size pants I saw out. It was really kind of picked over. The white shirt was nice, but I'm really fussy about those. And like, I probably would have wanted a bigger collar and that wasn't a big deal. And the skirt wasn't giving me anything. However, that being said, it was nice to see that there were other options. If I had to have something in a pinch, I could absolutely kind of make shift something, but it probably wouldn't be super festive. Like I did see some leather pants in there as I was kind of coming out of the store that I didn't really dig into. I was looking a little bit more for like the sparkly, more festive, more Christmassy things. There was another like white sweater in the Draper James section that had like a gold bow on it that would have been cute, but they didn't have that in my size. So stuff like that. There were little things in there. It was also size availability and things of that nature. But like in general, it's probably not somewhere I would shop all of the time. But like at the same time, I know that sometimes you just need things in a pinch and you can always create a bit more elegance with something that looks a lot less chic when you tailor it but some of the quality of the material was like frayed on the outside really needed like a good cleaning and dusting the dressing room wasn't that fabulous little things that kind of take away from that full experience and I can't say that like if I tried it home at home if I tried it on at home that I would feel the same because I feel like that's the place where you get dressed every single day so you get the true reflection of what something looks like you can grab the shoes you can grab the jewelry you can grab whatever but we are kind of having to like bring both of those mentalities in. So I'm glad that I did it. I don't know that I loved anything enough to share it and or found it in my size enough. Like I still think that sweater would have been the cutest. But we're going to go to Burlington next and kind of see how that goes. And this is one of those things where like I'm glad that I'm doing this. And I feel like it's important that we as mid-sized women have a space that we feel seen and heard. And that like 
as I continue to share the kind of content that I want to share that we're kind of getting that aspect of things but I also I don't know where I'm going with this at this point but we're gonna go to the next place I'm not a dig through all the racks kind of girl to find the treasures but I did find some absolute gems inside of Burlington but I was very concerned before I found these gems because all the potential items at the front weren't giving me life there were so 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 many dress options that I couldn't try them all on met our recent in-store try-ins have had me complaining about the quality of buttons for $15 these dresses were phenomenal I could have thought of millions of ways to style them okay, at least three as excited as I was about the dresses I was also thrilled to find the most gorgeous accessories still got more places to go so make sure you come back tomorrow for episode three happy Monday guys so I am having what I need as a raw day. Like I am just feeling the extent of some physical ailments at the moment. But before we end this vlog of holiday shopping, I thought I would do a try on with you because I don't know if I'm gonna end up inevitably sharing this anywhere else. I reached out to the Honey Love team about trying some of their stuff, maybe getting like a discount code affiliate situation set up for you. But I have a rule whenever I reach out to a brand, whenever a brand reaches out to me, that like I try it on and I really love it and if I don't like it it doesn't fit my body and like I'm not buying it for some kind of bigger review that maybe I'm gonna keep and source and whatever like if they're gifting it to me and they're doing it with the conditions that I'm gonna post then I'm not required to post and then I can like return it to them because maybe it doesn't fit and we don't like it and I'm not about to post something just because I got a product like that's not fair to you it doesn't helpful but they sent it to me it just came in so we're gonna open it there was a turn a return label in here too and we will see how this goes there's only a couple of options that i could select from and a lot of them were just not petite friendly stuff that i felt like probably wouldn't be the most ideal and with the color wave selection sometimes when you're selecting a gifted product this is obviously a niche situation but sometimes when you're selecting a gifted product they're really going to be more limited on the colors and the options um and my following is a bit smaller so they're not going to necessarily want to gift me something that is a bit more like casual that you would buy so like a black or a cream or whatever so anyways i opted for a bodysuit because i feel like the number one thing that i hear all of my friends complain about is that you guys don't like bodysuits that aren't thongs or you would like a non thong non non thong option so this is what we're gonna be trying on i went for the extra large and i'm really curious to see if this sizing is going to be the most accurate for my body because in a lot of ways it feels like it could be too big like my chest isn't this large um but my butt is this big let's let's try it on and find out i'm literally out of breath from doing that but i will say this is one of those that like seem like it might be bigger it is a bit snug hi pretty girl and i'm gonna show you guys because i feel like it's really helpful to see and then we're gonna try it on with some of my pants that are typically maybe a little bit tighter the back fabric is a little bit gathery right there but normally what happens for me is any kind of these body suits that you would get like they actually don't come far down enough so this is a good sign because normally what happens is you end up with it like coming up too high and then it ends up just not being that like smooth underlay on the butt which is an issue so it comes down low enough in that capacity so it is snatching in here i can definitely feel where maybe there's a little bit more slight like roll of the fabric i am a 5'4 girly like a little bit shorter than 5'4 so we're snatching in and you can kind of see that but i'm really more curious to kind of know how this impacts me when it comes to wearing an outfit <sighs> but i'm very much out of breath okay so these are the jeans that i bedazzled for the eras from movie that actually have been dried and not worn again and need to be fixed so let's see oh, the impact that we have on these good lord they're already a little bit tight i'm definitely puffy today this is not like getting them around me so I don't feel like it's doing as much tightening as maybe I thought it would, but I've eaten like chili, which is something that would bloat me normally in general. I'm on my period. I'm definitely at a higher weight at the moment because <clears throat> we're currently making some lifestyle tweaks and some diet tweaks and some changes for like my own personal health, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Then maybe I don't know about it, but it's just... 
it could be this specific product and I feel like the brand is probably really great. It's just that this is like not necessarily what I'm looking for or need right now. And that's my vibe, but I'm also very, very fussy, which is why I do this so that I can be fussy for you guys. But like right now, I just don't know and that might change. So hold space for me to let that change because I'm going to think about it. But right now, like it's not doing enough that it's going to make these jeans kind of go in. And I would think that that would be kind of anything that's tight. Like if it's a shaper, I really want to see that it's actually snatching and kind of supporting in that way. And this might be a little less on that snatchy bit side. I'd have to look at the tag. So just keep that in mind. But that being said, that is the end of this week's vlog. So I hope you guys liked a longer vlog. We're going to try something new and different. I am excited about what is coming in 2024 for us, the space, um, our community, all the things that I want to create with you guys. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I upload new videos every week. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite part is and what you think about this bodysuit situation. And yeah, I'm uploading more short content. So wherever you feel like following and feels best for you, I would love to have you. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.